guys. So now we have basic kicks, basic kicking part of the form. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna to put together all the basic kicks we've done. So we've got two of each, two front kicks, two round kicks, two side kicks, and two knees. And that's the order we're gonna go in. So we're gonna start with two front kicks. So without further ado, let's take our stance. Take our stance in either southpaw or orthodox. I'm gonna use an uh, orthodox stance for this example. So here, two front kicks to start. We start with the left leg. If you're southpaw, you're gonna start with your right leg, okay? So from here, orthodox stance, lead left arm, lead left leg. If you're working southpaw, lead right arm, lead right leg, okay? So from here, two front kicks. Remember, front kick, vertical chamber, extend out, hit with the ball of the foot. Two front kicks. Once we've done two front kicks, we're then gonna add on and do two round knots kicks. So as soon as we've finished that second front kick, we're gonna reset and come back, okay? So how we do this is this. Front kick, front kick, back. Bringing it back, okay? Then, go back to orthodox again. Lead leg round knots kick. And again, bringing that leg back. So once more, so four strikes. And again, and back. Let's add on again. So this time, two side kicks, okay? Two side kicks. So we finished the last roundhouse kick. Come back, turn the hip. Extend, hit with the heel, side kick, and then back. So we're gonna bring the back, bring leg back. So this is why I was stressing the importance of when I was doing the basic kicks about bringing the kick back when we're working off the rear leg. That's why I broke the kicking videos down into lead leg and rear leg. So when we put them together, you can see the difference between the two and the similarities of course, okay? So, from here, two front, two round, two side, like so. Six moves total. Let's add on the last two, which is two knees. Remember, when we do the knee, push the hips forward. As we finish the last side kick, and we come back, you guessed it, Lead knees coming forward, extend, down, bring that rear knee up, and extend, okay? All together, eight moves, eight moves in total. From here, so what you'll see is you'll generate a natural forward motion. So when we do a flow through combination, we generate a natural forward motion with these moves. Okay? Let's do it one more time, all the way through. Like so. You generate a natural forward motion. Let's break it down. I'll do it one more time. I'm gonna break it down for you, okay? take you all the way through. You start from your lead side. So if you're orthodox, left to right. If you're southpaw, right to left. The easiest thing to remember guys is two of each move. From here, two front kicks. Down, retract it back. Two roundhouse kicks, bring the chamber up, diagonal chamber. Two roundhouse kicks. Notice I'm going to the body on all these kicks. Keeping it simple, just going one level. We have three levels of kicking, low, middle and high. Two side kicks, turn your hip right over and extend. Two side kicks, then turn your shoulders, extend, bring it back. Bring it back. Chamber up, turn, bring it back, reverse. 
two knees, push the hip, push the hip. So you're making a spear with the knee. Okay guys, that is the kicking form. Eight moves in total. Get, get to work on that, okay, and I'll see you in the next video. Well done guys.